arms left. You got to hit him on top and the bottom. Keep going. Two rounds. Two rounds. Come on. You got to do it. You got to do it. Don't stop. This corner is not... Watch not Kota. Kota. Watch Kota. Ooh, that left hook. When everybody screamed, it was that left hook that made Melanagy decide to cover up, put the crabs on him. Melanagy was out for eight months and 04 and 05, and then six more months from August to February of this year because of the hand surgeries he required. He certainly is letting them all fly tonight. Told everybody their hands are fine. Melanagy is thinking, why won't he leave my body alone? Hit my head. <laughs> Bleeding from the nose. What a gutty performance. Ooh. That's a huge left there. Punch that hurt. fight. By Kota, a clean, hard shot. That hurt. He's staggering as he covers up this time. He's hurt. Melanagy is hurt, but he fights. Tomorrow, I guarantee there's going to be a lot of people who will criticize Cotto for the fight going this long. But yeah, they're going to have to praise Melanagi. And he catches him again with that. That would be selling oh, Melanagi yeah. short and also selling Cotto short. I mean, this is not an easy opponent. Yeah. I think these guys both, both fought great tonight. Three, go for I'm here, I'm here. Look at that right hand by Melanagi. You just never think Go. boxers are around are still around like that. This is something from the old days, this Malinaki. Something you want to see with Sandy Saddle and Willie Pep and those things. Here, you just don't believe those kind of guys are still around. Well put, George, and especially coming from you. That's exactly right. This guy is a, he's a slick warrior with all kinds of heart. You want to ask, where did he come from? Lifted by the crowd here. He's wanting to do his best here on his home turf. Yeah, let me just say, he came from Brooklyn, USA. That's the problem here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Look. He, he's waiting for Cotto to make one step back. See? Now he, he's going to get him. Well, he can't wait That's to spring right. on him. You're right. Wait one step, he'll spring on him. But he doesn't do it. Well, that's a lot of blood being lost. Well, he caught him again. Making that move in, he just nails him at the left. Well, for Melanagi, it's about survival now. It's about fighting. Look, I've made the fight, I'm going to finish it. Mm -hmm. I know my scorecard isn't worth the paper it's printed on, but I've got him hopelessly behind. Now, you might be surprised by the judges. Oh, no, they may have to stop this one. Now, most of that blood from his nose. What a tough guy. But it's the 12th round. Why not? He's going to finish up. Oh, no question. What a fight. You gotta do it. That's the way. Keep going. You're doing a great job. Just. Pauly is gonna get a shot in there. Ooh. Those are the kind you see in Sports Illustrated that you wish it hadn't happened to me. <laughs> Sweat goes everywhere. Okay, now and I can't wait to get off the chair. He wants to be out there going for it. Twelfth and final round. Now he's got to fight. There's no need in saving anything if you're Mel and I to fight now. Well, he hasn't saved anything since the opening bell, George. Yeah, but no, he's holding now. You can't do that. you got to just let your hands go. Let your hands go and fight. Okay. 
even if Malinaji loses this fight, and he's going to, I believe, unless he comes up with a knockout, he's got everything to be proud of here. Oh, that's putting him mildly. And Marinoji is in, in trouble now. He's in trouble. And for Miguel Cotto, you, you know, you can you can say the same because he couldn't have expected this. So he had to adapt. He had to fight beyond what he probably figured he had in his tank for it. So he, he likewise gets great credit. Yes, but he has had things his own way since the first seconds of the fight. Yeah, that's true. I mean, the bigger, stronger guy yep. with more power. I like Cotto. Looks like the fight is going for him, but he's still searching for that knockout. I like that. Give the people their money worth. And he knows he's way ahead. He doesn't have to go for the knockout. Yeah, he's still trying. What a brave guy he is. This is a fighter. That body shot almost dropped Mel Melanagi. Well, I for one can't wait to see Cotto and Ricky Hatton. Ooh. That should be triple X rated. <laughs> Well, I would pay to come back and watch Malinaji against anybody because that's right. He gives you the effort. He's got a lot of skill. I totally agree. And he has uh, certainly uh, earned any acclaim he gets as a result of this performance, win or lose. And I think, I still think you might be surprised that the scorecards are going to be a lot closer than, than you might expect. Under a minute to go in the fight. Now, Koto. Good ex exchange of combinations there. Finishing up strongly here in the final seconds of the fight. Boy, these guys are going to sleep tonight. The left to the face of Malinaji. Blood streaming now from the cut in the eye. The nose, his mouth, his cheeks swollen. And he's still throwing. Fifteen seconds left. Now the fight starts. <laughs> Left from Cotto that landed. Both of them getting it everything right to the final bell. Everybody in the garden is on his feet right now. His own right. feet. Boxing lead is such a fight. What a night of boxing in Madison Square Garden. Absolutely tremendous performance by both of these boxers in this main event. When you can make a crowd in New York City stand up on its feet, you fought. This Absolutely most, right, George. It's the most critical crowd there is in the world for boxing. They know they're boxing. Well, these two guys gave it all they had. And if there's a special tribute, it certainly goes to the light-hitting Malinaji who was not expected to fight in the way he did and to be as effective doing it. The other guy, bigger, stronger, he's the champion, defending his title for the fifth time. One of the best of the young champions in the sport today, Miguel Cotto. And he will be glad to see a Malinaji in his uh, rearview mirror. And Malinaji has proven that he's a tough cookie, though. Doesn't look good in the face, but he fought well. Now it'll be interesting to see the scorecards. I think ultimately we all agreed that Cotto won the fight, but I thought in the early rounds that, that Nalanaji, just by being the busier guy, won, won a bunch of rounds early. I gave him three, four, and five. But after that, then it becomes a, a, a question of the attrition and how the judges are looking at it, seeing the damage to the face of, uh, of Malinaji and, and the We suspected the that there may have been a broken jaw, and I think maybe there is. No, Malinaji is. Well, that'll be for the, uh, the newspapers tomorrow when the doctors examine him. I think the doctor went over and said, mm, bro. All right.
right, we have the decision in the hands of our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon, Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Don Trella scores about 115 to 112. Judges Peter Trevatera and Glenn Feldman both scored about 116 to 111. All three in favor of the winner and still champion, the pride of Pellas Pro.